Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. In this video I am going to show you how to get and install Delphi 11.3 Community Edition. A free tools for creating native cross-platform apps. Also to test it we will create our first Android application like this. Previously. On this channel I use the Delphi 10.4 CE version to make Android applications. So having the latest version is of course good news with lots of improvements and new features in this latest Delphi CE release. On this page we can find conditions. Whether we can use the Delphi Community Edition, please check, the link is in the description. Okay, let's just download and try to make an Android application like this without writing any code. Just drag and drop, let's get started. But before we proceed with the installation, one more thing that we need to check is the system requirement. For Windows we need Windows 10 or 11 with recommended RAM HEB or minimum 3GB. Details you may refer to this page I put this in the description, so please check. Actually downloading and installing it is easy. And straightforward. To download you need to log into Embarcadero or register as a new member here. Always use an active email because later the serial number or software license will be sent via email. So you can just fill in your details here. As I have registered on Embarcadero so after logging in I can download it immediately. Save this file and wait the download until finish. Run the Delphi CE installer. Let's click next. You should have the product serial number already on your email. So please check it. Click install. During this installation process, you need to have an active and good internet connection. Copy the serial number from Embarcadero in your email, and then paste it here. Click register, this may take a while. You have to be patient to wait until the registration process is complete. Make sure your internet connection is active. On this selection, we actually just need the Windows and Android community. So you can just select them to save time and disk space, but in this case I will select all. You can add this later from Manage Platform menu as needed. For Android application, make sure you select the Android SDK and Eclipse Tim Urine. Click Install and wait until it's completed. Okay, it's completed, let's start our first Android application. You can customize this later. From the desktop toolbar on the main IDE window, I just would like to modify the font here. Also change the project default folder. Now let's get started. Select this multi-device application. In this window, let's select Blank Application. Before we proceed with our first Android application, let's check what platform are installed. From this Manage Platform menu, we can see and add platform and additional options. Next. Let's check if Android SDK and MDK are correctly set by clicking this options menu. Click this deployment and then SDK manager. 
If you see like this that means, the SDK are installed correctly you do not have to do anything. The SDK, NDK and Java actually should be installed correctly if we selected the option to install them. During initial installation. If you see yellow exclamation mark like this, then you need to navigate to the correct SDK folder, or you need to do SDK installation. You have to fix this before develop Android application. By default the Delphi ID SDK installer will put the SDK files in this public document folder. So my setup looks good. So I will continue with our first application. Let's resize this form. And then drop a label and layout. Make the label as child of the layout. Edit the text, I just put a word hello. In the text settings, change the horizontal line to center. And then text style to bold. Let's save the unit and the project first. To test our application, we need to connect Android phone to USB port. But let's remove this component toolbar first. Ok it's removed. Once your Android phone connected, it should be listed in this drop down. If it is not there, then you need to check if the USB debugging is enabled, or probably something else. You should follow the instruction in this page, the link is in the description of this video. Before we run our application, let's add a style to this form by adding stylebook component. Drop stylebook from the palette. Double click on stylebook component, it will open style designer. Click this to select the stylebook file. The FireMonkey styles that are provided with the product are saved in this folder. Select Android folder and then select the file. I will select this Android dark blue style. Just close this and click yes to apply the change. As currently the form designer style is window. That's why we don't see the style applied. Let's change it to Android. Okay, now we can see the Android style in the form designer. I also have the phone connected. Now let's run this application on Android phone.
Okay. Our app is running on the connected Android phone without any problem. So we can continue to add circle arc animation. Next, let's drop this circle component from the palette. Resize it like this. Make sure the height and width of this circle are the same size, so that it really forms a circle, not an oval. Drop arc component as a child of outer circle. Change this end angle to minus 45. Adjust stroke color and thickness as shown. Add second circle and naked as a child of outer circle. Set its alignment to client. Change the background fill to none. Set all the margin to 8 which is the thickness of the orc stroke. Next drop float animation as child of the arc component. Now it is as expected.
Let's set the color of the inner circle. Move the label as a child of outer circle. Let's try to set the color again, with different method. This is what the result should be. Now, let's add a color animation to the inner circle by dropping a color animation component as a child of the inner circle. Okay, we have seen the application can run without any problems. Then you can change the available properties to make this animation better. Or create your own animation. This is the code that is automatically generated. And for this application I didn't add or change the coding at all. For this video I'm enough for now. Thank you for watching. I hope this is useful. See you on the next video.